Hey guys, welcome back to the Ash and Ty Show. I'm Ashley. And I'm Tyler. It is a new year, a new season, and so much to look forward to on the LPGA Tour. So we're officially back from the off season. We had a chance to spend some time at home with our family, just like the other players on the LPGA Tour. Ty, how'd you spend your off season? I spent my off season spending time with family, uh, helping friends plan weddings, attending a few weddings, uh, brought the sticks out, played a little golf. I was pretty excited about that. And um, watched our alma mater, oh, yeah. Florida State, take home the national championship. Go Knowles! Go Knowles! We actually played golf together at Florida State, so this is a pretty big Such moment. exciting game. Big moment for us. Amazing. Other than that, Ashley, what did you do over the break? Oh, uh, my life was engrossed in wedding planning. So I was doing a lot of cutting, a lot of pasting, assembling all of my favors, so that was sort of like my <laughs> second job. Um, and speaking of weddings, there were a couple other players who got married and tied the knot over the off season as well, right? Yeah, there were. Um, there were several players actually including Brooke Pancake, Paolo Moreno, Natalie Golbis got hitched on a in a private yes. little setting on the beach, very intimate. Mm -hmm. And uh, Brittany Lang got married not too long ago. That's and right. tell us a little bit about like who all was at the wedding? A lot of LPGA Tour players, which is pretty cool. Brittany Lincecum was actually her maid of honor, yeah. which is awesome. They grew up playing golf together in the AJGA and have been lifelong friends, which is speaks well to mm -hmm. sort of the family atmosphere that's on the LPGA Tour. So speaking of family, quite a few LPGA Tour players helped each other raise money for charity during the offseason as well. Yeah, Morgan Pressel had some of the girls come and do a teaching clinic, and her... Uh, Foundation raised six hundred thousand uh, dollars. Brittany Lincecum recently had a first tee charity right. event. I think it's the Brittany and Friends Celebrity Pro Am, yeah. who, which apparently it's very hard to get into these days. Mm -hmm. um, and they even do a marshmallow hitting contest. Oh yeah, contest. that's right. It's very cool. Thirty yards. Thirty yards with the six iron was the was the winning was the winning distance. Yeah. Um, but her her fundraiser raised ninety thousand dollars, and and that she had several players, including Morgan, uh, join her in helping raise that money for a good cause. That's right. So yeah. in addition to that, I loved keeping up with the players on TV. I mean, we saw a little bit of Brittany Lincecum and uh, Lexi Thompson on the Today Show with Kathy Lee and Hoda. Yeah, they did a whole New York media blitz announcing our new race very to the CME exciting. Globe. It's a season-long race. Um, we're very excited about that first time in history on the LPGA Tour. Um, the winner gets a million dollars. So this is this is huge for us. So they mm -hmm. did a huge media blitz up in New York Today Show, Bloomberg TV, mm -hmm. Fox and Friends. Yep. Um, they did hits on Morning Drive from New York. So we really got a lot of exposure and it kind of continued on to morning drive. Yeah. Um, Can't forget to mention Michelle Wee. Michelle Wee was on there. Challenging and Charlie to a rib throwdown. Hello. Michelle decided, to, when she was talking about some of her favorite foods, mentioned ribs and just threw out there, hey, maybe I could beat Charlie Reimer in a rib eating contest. Get so your let's, wet wipes ready. Let's take a look at uh, how he reacted to that. I understand one of your favorite foods, ribs. I love, love ribs. Love ribs, huh? Love ribs. When, you know, Jamie and I am on the road, um, my friends really don't like me because I, every time they're like, oh, what do you want to eat? I'm like, ribs. I could eat ribs every day. And I can, I can actually, I bet I can actually out eat Charlie. Wow, Charlie. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I'm going to tell you, well, there's no girl that's going to out, oh, out eat me I think, when it comes I, to ribs. I think he said that when he said I couldn't out drive you. Well, well you can out drive me. That's fine. <laughs> But out eating me, that's going to be a big I issue. I, I tell you, you've sort of thrown down the gauntlet here. Why don't Why don't we propose a little contest? Uh, okay. I'll check with my people. I'm going to come out on the road my this year. My people will talk to your people. Right. We'll have a eat. LPGA rib, rib eating throwdown. Throwdown. And I'll bring the napkins. Okay, so that was hilarious. So funny. <laughs> I, I cannot wait to see this. I know it's going to happen. I know Commissioner Juan is so into this. Oh, my gosh. Maybe he'll join in on the contest. I know. Okay. I know. Well, Between the three of them, who would you have your money on? Um, I'm going to have to go for, and I'm not saying she's an underdog, but I'm going to have to go for Michelle Wee. Oh, I, I feel like she could she could throw back some ribs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I would love to see her take on Charlie Primer and just awesome. wipe him out of the water just with the barbecue I sauce know. all over their faces. Oh I kind of wish we had some right now. And I'm 
making me hungry. Yeah. <laughs> um, but also on Morning Drive with Sandra Gall, and she talked about auctioning off one of her oh, paintings. Right. She's, she's awesome. She's Great an artist. unbelievable artist. We actually have quite a few artists on the LPGA, kind of something that they they do off the course. So. Yeah. Um, Look forward to that, and I hope everybody auctions for it. Exactly. Well, you know, I did a little bit of painting over the break. You did? I don't know that anybody would want to buy anything that I, I made. I didn't realize that you painted. Oh, okay, I'm not an artist at all. I okay. stick completely to abstracts, but I did dabble a little bit. All right, let, let me painted, see a picture. I, let me okay. see a picture. I painted a, it's supposed to be a rose. <laughs> so when I got home after this painting class, I showed it to Michael, and he stared at it for like, I, a, a long time. He's like, that's a lot of red. Is it a, <laughs> is it a flower? I was like, yes, of course it's a flower. How could you not tell? Okay, so here's the picture of the reference that I had. Yeah, take a look. If you and look at them both, it doesn't really look that much like it. Oh, I think it's a lot closer than you think yeah. it is. Yeah, maybe I'll, maybe I'll auction it off. I yeah. might get like a dollar. There you go. <laughs> so lots of exciting things that happen during the off season, but we can't wait to follow the players on the LPGA Tour season as they kick it off in the Bahamas. Yes, leaving the cold weather, heading to the tropical weather, um, and we can't wait to see what you all did during your off season, so send us pictures. That's right. Email us at ashandtie at lpga.com. Or tweet us at ashandtie. And don't forget the ampersand. That's right. We'll see you next time. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'm Ashley. And I'm Tyler. Yes! <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute. I'm going to give two thumbs up on that one. Ooh. <laughs> Scandal. Yeah. Yeah. That better not make it. <laughs> we are very professional here.